Hi guys, welcome to Chitre's Tech Tutorials educational YouTube channel. If you scroll down, you find Web Design and Development Tutorials section. In Web Design and Development Tutorials section, if you scroll to the right side, you find Bootstrap 5 Tutorials playlist. If you click on View Full Playlist, you find all my Bootstrap tutorials where I am explaining Bootstrap in depth and step by step, guys. In this video, I would like to discuss Bootstrap Scroll Spy. What is the use of Scroll Spy in Bootstrap? Scroll Spy is used to highlight the currently active hyperlink. Scroll Spy is used to highlight the currently active hyperlink, guys. Let's have a demo and understand everything clearly step by step. I minimize everything. Here I have my dash website folder. I open it. I right click on default.html page, say open with notepad. You can see default.html page is open in the notepad. Its title is set to bootstrap demo. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with Google Chrome. You can see default.html page is open in the Chrome and title is set to bootstrap demo. Here I'm going to create a navigation bar. For that, I take help of the nav tag. We know that we take help of the nav tag to create the navigation bar in bootstrap. Here I say closing nav. We are opening now and closing now. I'm identifying this navigation bar uniquely by giving an ID of main nav, ID main nav. And to style the navigation bar, I'm using few classes here. You can see nav bar, which is essential for creating the navigation bar and nav bar light, BG light, that is for light color scheme. If I want, I can change it to dark, nav bar dark and BG dark. You can see I'm using padding X. That means I'm adding padding on the left side and right side. And then I'm fixing this navigation bar at the top left. So position fixed from top edge of the browser. It should be zero pixels away from left edge of the browser. It should be zero pixels away and the navigation bar should take a hundred percent width. Okay. I save it, go to browser and reload my page. You can see we have a dark navigation bar. If I go back, I can change this to BG light. I can change the nav bar light. I save it, go to browser and uh, Reload, you can see we have a light gray background color now applied to the navigation bar. In this navigation bar, I'm going to add some hyperlinks. Okay, you can see I'm using the anchor tag. Copy this and uh, paste inside. We have an opening A tag and a closing A tag. Inside that we have the text Manjunath. And you can see that using the class navbar brand, right? Class navbar brand. And then href hash about. What is the meaning of that? When we click on Manjunath text, it should scroll to, to the HTML element, which has the ID about that means it should display the HTML element, which has the ID about, you can see, I have a section here. I have a section. I copy this and paste below the nav. I have a section which has the ID about. So when I click on Manjunath, it displays this section. You can see it has a heading about section and this section is going to have height of 700 pixels and padding 60 pixels and this section let me save it and show you i save it go to browser and uh, reload you can see manjunath hyperlink is added and is showing this heading about section i want to move this about section down for that uh, i am going to use some brs here br copy and paste few times i copy this and paste down save it go to browser and reload you can see now the about section is down here if i click on manjunath check out what happens if i click on manjunath it scrolls to about section right why because we are telling here when we click on manjunath it should display the html element with which has the id about this html element has the id about so it scrolls to this section guys that is the meaning of href hash about okay I delete this BRs from here, save it, go to browser and reload. We are back to normal. I'm going to add other sections that I have here. I have qualification section, skills section. I have project section and contact section. I copy that and paste below. I save it, go to browser and reload. We have about section. We have qualification section, skills section, project section and contact section. Consider I am creating my personal portfolio. So these sections I should have, right? So I have the sections. 
Now I am going to create some hyperlinks for each section here. When I click on about, it should display about section. When I click on qualification hyperlink, it should display qualification section like that. Okay, for that, you can see I have an unordered list with few allies and each ally contain a hyperlink. When I click on home, it displays the about section. When I click on about also, it displays the about section. Okay. When I click on qualification, it displays the HTML element which has the ID qualification. When I click on skills, it displays the HTML element which has the ID skills like that. I'm going to copy this unordered list from here. Copy and paste below the navbar brand that is below the anchor tag. I save it, go to browser and reload. You can see now we have home about qualification skills projects contact. If I click on contact, it displays the contact section. If I click on projects, it displays the project section. If I click on skills, it displays the skills section. If I click on qualification, it scrolls to qualification section. If I click on about, it scrolls to about section. If I click on home, it is going to display about section only. If I click on Manjunath, it displays the about section only. Okay. Now, what actually I want? I want to highlight the currently active hyperlink. I want to highlight the currently active hyperlink. How do we do that? With the help of Bootstrap Scroll Spy. Bootstrap Scroll Spy is used to highlight the currently active hyperlink. For that, we take help of a div with attribute data BS spy equal to scroll. Scroll spy. And data BS target hash main now. That is the ID of our navigation bar. I am going to copy this div and here before this section we are going to wrap all these sections into this div guys okay which has the attribute data bs spy scroll and then i close this div i save it go to browser and reload the page when i reload the page you see that about hyperlink is highlighted because it is now showing the about section that is currently active hyperlink if i click on qualification it is displaying the qualification section. So qualification hyperlink is highlighted. If I click on skills, it scrolls to skill, skills section and you can see skills hyperlink is uh, highlighted, right? So that is the use of scroll spy. It highlights the currently active hyperlink projects, contact, home, right? Right. That's what it is doing guys. Data BS scroll spy is used to highlight the currently active hyperlink. See, if I scroll down, now you see qualification hyperlink is highlighted. Skills hyperlink is highlighted. Projects hyperlink is highlighted. Contact hyperlink is highlighted. Like this, data BS scroll spy will help us to highlight. Okay, if you don't write this div, then it is not going to highlight the currently active hyperlink guys. Okay, that is the use of our bootstrap scroll spy. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to try it yourself. Okay. I suggest you to try this yourself. For this video tutorial, this much is enough guys. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. In the upcoming video tutorials, we discuss more about Bootstrap. For more benefits and be up to date, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.